What's up guys? Today I want to do a, qu a different kind of video. If you haven't seen before, I'm always reviewing bags and doing individual videos on individual bags. But right now I wanted to go through some of my favorite bags. You guys are always asking me in the comments, what do you use now most of the time since you've used so many bags? What, do you, what are your favorites? That's what I want to get into in this episode and I've broken it up into a handful of categories. So let's get into it. All right, so first of all, in terms of innovation, I got to mention this bag from Peak Designs, Peak's Everyday Backpack. This is the 20 liter. A video that I did before was on both the 20 liter and the 30 liter. What do I love so much about this bag? This thing has so much innovation in it. From the clasp, right? This little clasp, the way that this thing works, the way that it is extensible. It adds another eight liters to the bag. But the fabric itself, this Kodra fabric that the material of the bag is made from, the way these side pockets open up and you get access to your entire bag and then you have all of these organizational things in there. I mentioned all of this stuff in my video about this bag. So it's the Peak Everyday Backpack. If you haven't seen that, check out that video. Had to mention Peak Designs for innovation because they are doing shit that are, is just like, it's blowing my mind because this bag basically does everything. Now, I personally am not like, the look doesn't quite get the look that I'm looking for in a bag, but it is so useful and so functional. I had to mention it. So shout out to Peak for this bag. Check out the review that I did on this bag, Peak Everyday Bags. That's the innovation pick. <laughs> then let's talk about our value pick. This is the Air Travel Pack. All right, value as in this bag doesn't cost as much as it probably should for the kinds of things you can do with it. This bag uh, competes with like your Manal uh, carry bag, which I'll show you in a second, and a handful of other single bag travel bags. The Tortuga's a big one. What I like about this is, is, it is it's really affordable, tons of space, tons of pockets, and pretty damn rock solid fabric. So Air, A-E-R, they're making some of the more affordable good bags out there, like bags that might last you like several years. Bags that you can go on the road with and they're not gonna let you down, probably. There are other bags that, can, that would never let you down, but you have to pay for that kind of thing. Air, on the other hand, this is a valuable sort of Really, you, again, did a bag review on this. If you're interested in this for your single bag travel, big thing. Love this pick from Air for my value, sort of like what's affordable and I can travel the world on. Check out the Air Travel Pack video. <laughs> All right, now let's talk about my favorite for the build right now is Tom Bin's Aeronaut. Basically anything from Tom Bin. I'll be showing another one of their bags in just a second. But this is their Aeronaut, and it's not in the Halcyon lightweight fabric, which is pretty cool because it's lighter. It's in their badass, crazy, ballistic, something something, bulletproof, ah, fabric, okay? And it is incredible. This fabric with these YKK number 10 zippers, big, beefy son of a And it's got, uh, backpack straps on the back. This bag is not a very frills sort of bag. Basically, if you are traveling Europe and, you, and you're and you gonna throw like a tiny day pack in here that crumples up, this is a great bag for that kind of travel. Let's go through South America, but I'd, I wanna have a bag that looks like this. This is a massive duffel. So there's no frills or thrills on this thing, though there are a few more pockets than you get on a duffel. These nice side pockets, they've got some dividers on the inside. I think it works a lot better than your standard duffel. But why I'm highlighting this bag is it is built like a rock. This thing is never gonna let you down. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna. So I had to mention that just because in all of the bags and all of the fabrics that I've been playing with, Tom Bin consistently blows my mind uh, with the, the kind of durability they can build into their bags. So that's why I had to mention this in the build. So check out my review on the Tom Bin Aeronaut if you haven't seen this bag yet. So for my first single bag travel, another Tom Bin, the Synapse. 
25. This is a bag that I loved using for travel. That's why I have to call this bag out because basically you owe it to yourself if you're a minimal traveler, if you're a one bag traveler, at some point you've got to travel with this bag. First of all, functionality. All of the organization is on the outside of this bag. The space on the inside, I'll talk about in a second, but the, all of the functionality is on the outside of this bag. And for some reason, I swear, for some reason, it just makes it so nice to use. Second of all, size, the, uh, the main compartment here. Look at this bag, it's not a very big looking bag. This is their 25 liter, the Synapse 25 liter. But I am always amazed at how much I can end up fitting in here. This main compartment just is like all my packing cubes fit in here easily. My laptop, if you've seen the video that I made, fits in here with one of their laptop caches that goes right in here, which I love because then all of my clothing and the soft stuff is up against my back and it makes it super, super comfortable. So the size is right in terms of what you can fit and then the use of it itself when you're really, when you go travel and you're just carrying this bag, I'm serious, if, you, if you're curious about one bag travel, if you've got that on your brain at all, if you've already sort of like started like, like, like getting the bug of it, for me it actually has been, been like kind of a bug, like it's, it's really thrilling and exhilarating to travel with one bag. N no bag has been more exhilarating to use than this. And that said, it is smaller than sometimes I wish it could be. So some trips, I can't take this on. But I include this Tom Big Synapse 25. Watch the video of mine if you haven't yet because you just owe it to yourself if you're into this kind of thing to travel with this bag at least once. It's sort of a, it's like, it's a kind of a spendy bag, but like, like and not, not as, as expensive as it could be but it's gonna last you for fucking ever. It lasts forever. Tom Bin bags last forever and they repair these bags. This is a great company to invest in. My one drawback on this bag is I don't like the look. I don't like the look. That's, that's one of the reasons why sometimes I don't travel with it is because I need to have like a cooler look. I'm going to San Francisco or LA or New York and I'm gonna go like hobnob with some, with some like, you know, people who wear fucking scarves and shit like that. So I don't wanna look like, you know, like, like I'm a blogger guy wearing the five toe shoes and shit, shit like that. So I, I don't like the look. By the way, no disrespect, I am a blogger guy. <laughs> I have had the five finger shoes. I've never had those. I've never had those. I've had the New Balance Minimus, but which is just as bad. But the the, the gist I'm getting at here is I, I'm not crazy about the look. I love using this bag. I love the size of it. I love the functionality on the outside. I love that when I get to my destination, this is small enough to use as a day pack. Almost no single bag travel bags are good for that. They're all a little too big to once you get to Milan or something to use as your like daily bag. They're all too big for that. They look funky. This you can use for your daily carry bag when you get to your places that you're going. But the look's a little off. It's a little bit dad, isn't it? It's a total dad bag. So that's my one drawback on the Tom Bin Synapse 25. But I mean it, you guys. It is by far and away my favorite bag to travel with when I choose to travel with it. So if that's curious to you, if that sounds interesting, if you're like, if your interest is peaked there, get into this bag, check out the review on the Synapse 25 from Tom Bin. <coughs> now, when I am not traveling with the Synapse 25, I am traveling with this sucker more often than not. It is the Manal Carry On 2.0. I did a great old big review of this thing. I love this bag because it always fits what I need it to and it's made out of solid, solid materials and it's just honestly, it's just a treat to use. Superb materials, superb peripherals like the handles and the and the straps and the fabric and the zippers and all of it just behaves really, really well. It feels nice. I think it was either this or my Filson briefcase that was that was the kind of the straw that broke the camel's back in terms of like, I like to have nice feeling materials. I like to have a nice feeling bag, a well-designed bag 
when I touch a well-designed bag, the way these zippers work and all that kind of stuff, just the zipper pulls, shit like that, just, to, just the regular everyday stuff, when it's nice, it it's nice, like I notice it. That's what I get from this bag. Another place you really see that shine is in the tech organization, both for their laptop, their iPad, and then their like document organizer thing for your papers your business papers, man. Just killer design, killer peripherals on this thing. Uh, and m kind of more important than anything else is it's just nice to use. You can fit all your stuff in it. When I pack it up, I pack it clamshell. Let me just show you. I did a, again, big review on this one. So if you're interested in this bag, check it out. Manal Daily Carry, uh, or not Daily Carry, but they're, they're uh, Carry on 2.0. I always just hold it like this. I put all of my stuff in here in the clamshell part and close it down and it's tons of space. Way more space than the Synapse 25. I mean, maybe maybe it's not way, way more, but like it kind of feels like it. Like this, you can travel and bring an extra pair of shoes. That basically is the difference. And sometimes that's all the difference. <laughs> <laughs> that matters. The Manal carry-on is a big fitting bag, but it travels like it's a small bag. That's why I love traveling with this bag. If you're interested in this, check out my review of the Manal carry-on 2.0. Now for a crossover bag that you can use as a daily carry or a single bag travel, it's sort of like right in between, this Tom Bin guide pack has been one of my favorite ever to use because this guy is gonna be killer for life. First of all, this look has never not been in fashion in some way, shape, or form since like the 40s or something like that. So you can take this out anytime, anywhere. It kind of like, it'll, I don't know, maybe you wouldn't look good on it in it with a suit or something like that, but it's just a badass look. I still am so attracted to this Alpine sort of legend vibe. But then second of all is the materials, the fabric and the build on this bag are literally going to last your entire life. This material, this Parapack stuff, they brought out of retirement from like, anyways, I get into it in my video on this. The fabric really is a treat to use. And over time, you can, you can give it a beating and you can replace things. You can, I don't know, it's just, it's the fabric is going to last forever. And that makes it really nice to use. It also makes it nice to kind of invest in because this is a spendy bag. So for any of you thinking about investing in something like this, one of the reasons why I love this so much is it's just like forever. It, the materials written in the build is gonna last forever and it's a fucking good looking bag. It also has like these two side pockets that I don't have pictured in on this thing right now. Um, but the other thing is the size of this, I've traveled, did single bag travel with this and it's great. It's just a big old rucksack. Another kind of thing that you can use as a daily carry when you get there, cause it's just kind of floppy and doesn't take up much room when you, cause the bag itself isn't that big. But when you get inside of it, it actually has, uh, has a huge compartment. This goes deep and you can fit in a bunch of stuff. Then when I've got my side pockets on there and then this top pocket that zips from the back, uh, this from the front right here and then a few and then a few organizing pouches sort of things right here. There's like enough organization. Not as much maybe as I as my dream, which I'll show you in a, in a little bit. My favorite sort of daily carries, um, which which daily carry for me is a little bit about that organization. But for like a lifelong bag that I travel with, that like I can I can always grab this, I can always use this, and it will always kind of fit the situation most of the time. That it always most of the time. Do you like how I use language? I'm just literally making it up as I go. <laughs> But but it's like, this is a killer bag from that, for that. So check out the Tom Bin guide pack review that I did if that interests you. <coughs> now let's talk about some daily carry options. I have one more to show you after this, which is a little bit of a, of a red herring. It's a little surprise. I, I'm surprised by it. But this is the Air Fit Pack and the Manal Daily Carry. Kind of similar bags as I thought about them uh, because for some reason I've loved both of these bags. I'm gonna tell you some of the reasons why. And then I realized that they're very similar. Let's talk about the Air Fit Pack first. First of all, it's the perfect size. It's a tiny daily carry bag with a nice pouch on the front that you can fit 
bulky sweaters, books, whatever you happen to have that day, water bottle, gym clothes, whatever, it, however you roll, it's got that nice pouch in there, but it's still a very small, slim lined bag. One of my favorite things ever, these guys taught me how much I love the quick access pocket. Tiny little pocket on top, always throwing my phone, my keys, and my headphones right in there. Most of the time my phone's in my pocket, but headphones and keys, bam, 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 right in there. This quick access pocket has changed my life. I, I'm like, I like require this kind of thing on every bag now for my daily carry use. And then it's got my favorite tech organization of all. Just a simple laptop thing right here. I'm always, first thing I do when I get to the cafe is I pull this out, put that there. A Little bit of document stuff for my business papers. And then just like a smaller pouch, like some things, you'll see them all in the in the uh, in the video that I did for the Air Fit Pack. Um, I just like these pockets that they have. They have one pouch that's like a Velcro pouch. Boom! Something just goes straight in there. I have my little like dongles bag holder thing that goes right in there. I never have to worry about anything because it's always there. I don't need to see it. I don't need to see it. I only need that when I need that, which is very rare. And then a little elastic pouch that's right for my Apple uh, MacBook charger. So for me, the form, the size of this thing, the size of it, the fact that I can put bulky stuff if I need to and that it has just the right amount of tech with the added bonus that it's just a super affordable bag. It's like $100, $120, bucks, something like that. This is in their Heather Gray. By the way, all of these bags, if you're interested in them, I'm gonna put a link to purchase them below. For some of them, if you purchase through my link, it gives me a kickback and I I'm just can't thank you enough for doing that for those of you who have been doing that so thank you if this video is helpful for you to figure out which one you want click the link and buy the bag through that link because I get a couple bucks back and I uh, and then my wife lets me make more of these videos <laughs> that's literally what's happening like she's like wait you can make money from this like okay I'm like not very much she's like well you can cover your cocktail bill I'm like yeah I think I probably could and so if, if you do that I'll get to make more videos <laughs> So that's the Air Fit Pack. You can buy this from the link below, but I wanna show you the Manal Daily now and compare and contrast. <coughs> Similar to the Air Fit Pack, perfect size. It's a small, slim lined, very simple, minimal travel pack. One of the things I like about this is the look is kind of like, I don't know, it doesn't really signal too much. It's not like, hey, I'm Kenneth Cole, and it's not like, like, what's up? This is my Herschel backpack. Like, I'm one of those millennials you keep reading about. It's not like, it doesn't signal too much. It's, it's not too sleek. It's not too, uh, like, whatever, like Hesher bro. I don't know. It's, I, 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 I like the look of it a little bit more even than the Air. The Air does have a kind of a San Francisco, I work at a tech company look, which I think is exactly who they're focusing on. So, perfect size, nice look, better materials, okay? In this one, I think this bag is a little more expensive than the Air, uh, Air Fit Pack, but better materials. The fabric is the same fabric, the zippers, the pulls, all that as the Manal. It's a real kind of a work of art in terms of bag making for me and design just like, I, it's just solid. It's not, nothing about it is fucking precious. Nothing about it is precious. Nothing about it is is like over-designed or under-designed really. It's, but it's enough design to make you go like, dude, someone thought about this bag. Someone thought about me using this bag. And I love that in a bag. So the materials are nice. The handle, the zippers, the zipper pull, the, the uh, fabric itself, the way that the straps feel, the density of the fabric. It's a killer bag because of how it feels alone. And similar to the Air Fit Pack, you've got your sort of like your big pouch, uh, your big sort of like, I can just throw whatever I want in here. Added benefit is there is some, uh, some organization in here, little like hidden compartment back here, mesh pocket up here, water bottle holder here. The Air does not have a water bottle holder. I don't tend to really use this though. I just throw my water bottle in there. It does come with a rain cover, like a rain slick. Loved my favorite, one of my favorite YouTube comments that I've seen recently is like, is a guy who was like an avid traveler. He's like, fucking rain, rain covers. There's a, there's a, there's a solution without a problem. <laughs> it's like, no, you never need that kind of thing. It's just a pain in the ass. And it's just something that you think about that you need if you're not really a, a professional traveler. Just get rid of the idea of the rain patch. I love that idea. I don't know if it's true or not because I haven't done any Southeast Asia stuff, but I love that. So big pouch, got a little carried away there on the YouTube comment. Another thing, the tech organization on this thing is great. 
This opens up wide, it opens up big. I've got my laptop and an iPad thing. They use their special thing so I can pull it out from the side or the top, kind of nice. Uh, and then their document holder thing has some other, like you can put your pens in here, your business papers. Man, your business papers go in there. Uh, and then it's like some weird shit. I don't know what these are. I, I mean, all guys, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. It's like a business card holder or some shit. Maybe it's for pens or something. It's sort of a, I don't know what you do with these things. But the feel of the fabric is actually really nice is what I'm getting at. So in terms of, of, of organizing my tech, it's killer. They also have a pocket up front. This becomes my quick access pocket. The bummer with this is, is it's big enough to fit my charger in. So I kind of have to put my MacBook charger here and my headphones, so well, oftentimes my glasses in a glasses case and my keys. So there's just a little bit more in my quick access pocket. What I like about the Air, uh, like literally one of the reasons why I would choose an Air over this potentially is just because it has the exact pocket structure that I like personally. And by the way, on that pocket stuff, like you guys know, daily carry is a totally personal thing. How you travel is a totally personal thing. So how I travel is gonna be very different than how you travel probably, right? So I'm telling you how I'm using these things because I'm using them very intentionally and roughly. I'm like getting into them, but I'm just sharing you how I use them and what I like about them. So make sure you take it all with a grain of salt, okay? So the Manal Daily Carry and then the Air Fit Pack, two of my favorite daily carry bags of all time. It's not ones that I like, I love going back to using. I'm testing a lot of bags all the time. And so I'm always like in and out of different bags, but I love when I get a chance to go like, I'm not doing a new bag right now. I'm just gonna use one of these. And I, I go 50-50, to be honest. I prefer the look and the feel and just about everything on the Manal daily but this is so affordable. I kind of like that it is affordable and I know it. And it's got a nice uh, nice way of organizing pack pockets for me. If I had to pick one, I would pick them in all daily. I think I really would. Um, but it's a more expensive bag, whatever. You do the, you make your own decisions, bro. Okay, and finally for a weird thing that I did not think I was gonna love, but I have fallen in love with. It's a tote bag, but it's from Peak Designs. It's a tote from Peak Designs that you can use as a backpack, all right? I Basically, I use it as a backpack when I ride my bike and that's it because it's really uncomfortable as a backpack. It is not good as a backpack, but it's, I like, I carry it as a tote, put it over my shoulder sometimes. It's kind of like, like I said, I'm kind of sometimes going to the New Yorks and the LA's and the San Francisco's, meeting with people who have scarves and totes are all the rage with some of those people. Uh, so I've always liked the idea of a tote, but this thing is not just a tote. This thing is like a dream boat of a tote. It's a toady, it's a, it's a tote, but it's a dream boat tote. It's the, it's the most dream boat tote that uh, it's totes a maze. First of all, I got a quick access pocket right here that actually has some organization, like a tiny little pouch in it. Well, I guess, hold on. First of all, the fabric itself is the same Kodra fabric, feels extremely robust, water resistant, all of that stuff. That feels amazing. Magnetic clasp on the top just like feels like, I don't know, it's something about magnets, man. It's just like, how do they work? But it just feels really nice. Like using this bag feels really nice. The handles, the Nubuck leather on the inside of it, uh, the way the webbing uh, feels, it's that really nice nylon webbing. Uh, so it's just fucking badass. But you've got a quick access pocket, I'm always just throwing stuff right in here. And I love it because there's nothing to open and everything's secure, even when I'm riding my bike. Um, yeah, uh, if people are, are, if I'm in a place like Barcelona where I've had things stolen before and people have uh, get real handsy about stuff, I wouldn't be walking around real safe, feeling very safe with this. I would either turn it towards my body or something like that for any of you concerned with that. On the other side, it's just got a, um, a thing that you can put it on your roller bag. Uh, you can your roller bag, you know, I'm gonna do a whole video on this suffice it to say uh, There's more to see but I just throw my laptop in here sideways It has a laptop 
uh, compartment, but it's, it's too small for my bag. It's like for, made for 13 inch. My laptop's a 15 inch MacBook Pro. So instead I just throw my, uh, I, I, I throw my charger in there and then I have my journal, my, my water bottle and my, uh, my laptop just goes in there. They make pouches that, uh, that separate and organize this thing. Sorry, I'm probably boring you on this because you're like, I'm not gonna get a fucking tote, bro. <laughs> Which I totally respect <laughs> because I'm losing a lot of respect for me and how much I like using this bag from Peak Design. So if you're interested in it, take a look. I'll put a link below in the description. I haven't made the review on this one yet. I will soon. Uh, let me know in the comments if this is something that, that you've even thought about, like totes, right? We haven't thought about totes. We're, we're like backpack people, aren't we? But the Peak uh, tote bag, I just like using it. I like the way I feel when I use it. I like the way it's it, it, like how it works, how you use it, how you grab your stuff out of it. Like just on the regular, walking with it, taking it to the cafe, doing the work that I do. I've got everything that I need and I feel comfortable walking with it. So check out the Peak tote if you're in the note and you take the tokes and you want to choke on the idea of being cool. And instead you just wanna go like, I like this, this is really fun. So I love all of these bags. These are ones that I have used a lot personally long after my review process with these bags. I love all of them. But it's just me who's loving them, right? You might not like the things that I like about these bags. That's what makes them <laughs> the, the, the world so incredible. Thank you, the internet. So any of my advice, take with a grain of salt and you'll have to test it out for yourself and see what you like. If you haven't seen it before, I do a lot of bag reviews on different bags. The reason why I do that is because I'm a bag enthusiast and every time I wanna buy a bag, I'm interested, I'm curious in it. I'm, first of all, my wife never lets me buy bags, but I'm just like, there's been a few times where I've been able to buy a bag and I, th there's no stores that I that they're near me that I can look at the bag and touch it and feel it and compare it to a bunch of other bags. So I always needed help online finding out what bag I should get and what it's like to use. That's why I make the bag vi videos that I do and that's why they're so fucking long, to be honest, because like I want you to see every, I always wanted to see everything about the bag. So there's more bag reviews waiting for you if you haven't seen any of those. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't uh, because this is what I do. I make these bag reviews. And if you want more of me, you can listen to my podcast with my business partner, Corb Barr, Steph Crowder. We talk about making a living doing something that you care about. We talk about earning real revenue from something that you really care about. Independent business, what we call indie entrepreneurs. We started a company called Fizzle that helps that those people because most businesses end up fizzling out. Most solo projects end up fizzling out. So you can check out The Fizzle Show or fizzle.co or you can find me on Twitter at Chase underscore Reeves. Thanks so much for watching and uh, yeah, ask any questions in the comments. I'll answer as I can. Thanks y'all. See ya.